In this module, we'll cover the following topics. We'll look at the underside of the phone, where the expansion module connector is located. Then we'll look at the specifications of the expansion modules. Then I'll demonstrate how to assemble and mount the expansion module onto the phone. On the underside of the phone, there is a cover you will need to remove to expose the expansion module jack. Each connector has tracks or grooves next to it. Be sure to route each cable or cord in the appropriate track. This will keep each cable and connection secure. Let's take a detailed look at the two expansion modules. They are the M670i and the M675i. The M675i expansion module has 60 keys with LED and uses an LCD screen with backlit display. The M670i has 36 keys with LED and uses paper strip labeling. You can have up to three expansion modules connected per phone. The expansion modules get the power directly from the phone through the expansion module connector. No external power is needed. All of the keys on the expansion module are programmable. So anything you can program on your phone, you can program on an expansion module key. One quick note, you can only have a maximum of 50 BLF or busy lamp field keys program per phone. Now let's look at how to connect an expansion module to the phone. Both of the expansion modules have an overlay bracket. The overlay bracket is used to mount the expansion module onto the phone. Also notice the cable on the expansion module. This is the cable that will plug in to the expansion module connector on the phone. This is a close-up view with the expansion module on the left and the phone on the right. The first thing that I'll do is to plug the expansion module's cable into the phone's expansion module connector. Then I'll route the cable in the track. Next, I'll align the holes on the expansion module's overlay bracket to the holes on the phone. I'll use the two screws that came with the expansion module to attach the expansion module to the phone. Then I'll attach the leg to the expansion module. This completes this tutorial on the expansion modules.